Hello everybody, hope everybody's doing great today. I appreciate those of you watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And today we're talking about the most greatest, most greatest, the most greatest, fantasticest uh, movie that ever came out of the 80s. And I'm being a little bit sarcastic here. No, I'm being a lot sarcastic here. Today we're going to be talking about Wizards of the Lost Kingdom. In fact, this movie is horrible, terrible. There's really nothing really good about this. There's some things that are subpar subpar but everything else is just uh really bad the set designs are very cheap you kind of tell that they were made of um uh styrofoam there's the word i was looking for styrofoam is just painted uh the costumes were terrible like they have this two chewbacca wannabe animal creature that looks like a literally looks like a walking carpet you know how han solo is always uh is that not, not han solo Princess Leia is always talking about Chewbacca being a rock, walking carpet. I think there's a line like that in Star Wars. This guy, this costume, this creature, whatever you want to call it, literally looks like a walking carpet. It's so bad. All the costumes are just terrible. Then I would say if the costumes were up to par, were okay, were good, uh, some of the some of the uh, monster designs were kind of interesting. Those creatures, you know, the uh, idea behind them was good, but the uh carrying out the idea and making it come to life was poorly executed and very badly done uh the story was somewhat interesting uh could have done a lot of touch-up work on here really it's about a a wizard and a queen uh they uh and the king's queen king's wife kind of rebel and take over the kingdom uh it doesn't really explain why the queen portrays her husband um, it's not like she was in a romantic relationship with the wizard, uh, just them working together. Uh, she had power. I mean, he basically told her she had everything that she needed or ever, excuse me, ever wanted. Um, so I don't really know why the queen decided to portray her husband, the king. Um, wasn't even sure if this was a marriage of convenience because, and, uh, uh, leading up to the movie, uh, you know, in the prologue, it explains that the king was once a peasant guy uh, who helped rebel and built this kingdom to where it was today or at that time, whatever you want to say. So don't really know how their relationship worked out. Um, so, you know, you need a lot of backstory. Uh, you, I knew this movie was going to be bad from the get go when the beginning looked like a trailer of another movie. It looked like a trailer within a movie. It, uh, it's hard to explain because it's showing all these scenes and stuff that I've seen in other bad fantasy movies. Uh, I guess this is a common trope with the director of this movie who also did Deathstalker? Deathstroke? Deathstalker? Oh, I can't remember the movie. Anyways, uh, it's the same director who did that. If You, you might know what I'm talking about. Anyways, but it's like a trailer. It was like a trailer before the movie even started. Um, but I guess the story was okay. You know, you got a, a wizard, a queen takes over the kingdom, kills her husband. Don't really know why her, she wants to do it. You know why the sorcerer wants to do it because he wants more power. Uh, then the the uh, the good guy, the good sorcerer, you know, who's pro, you know, on the king's side. He decides to not even put up a fight, uh, gives his son the ring that has his, like the most powerful magic item ever in the universe. He gives it to his son and tells his son, who's like 12 or 13 years old, to go out into the world and then to come back to retake the kingdom over to rescue the princess, you know, stuff like that. Uh, and there's that term, stuff like that. I my, watched my previous video, I don't know. I, why, how I got in the habit of saying stuff like that. But anyways, uh, back to this review, you know, so he's out there, you know, trying to gather an army to retake the castle when it could all have been settled before all the, before he even left the castle. Uh, the fighting scenes in this movie is terrible. Um, goes just along with everything else being bad. Uh, so yeah, I'll definitely recommend this caution. Uh, if you like bad fantasies and bad movies in general, you'll enjoy this. If you've seen every fantasy movie in the world and you're just looking for something else to watch, uh, it might be something to check into. Uh, but other than that, I would definitely stay away from um, from this one, Wizards of the Lost Kingdom. Very bad movie. 
one of the worst movies I've ever seen. Uh, saying that, hope everybody has a great day. Uh, leave a like or subscribe if you like to. And uh, check me out in another video. Bye.